So we're in Excalibur, which is like a fresh juice and smoothie kind of place. And we're having some breakfast. Water for breakfast. Yeah, we haven't got water for breakfast. <laughs> I mean, just, just browsing in here. There's lots of cool artwork in this room. And we've just bought a few postcards and stuff. I'm gonna do some to decorate my room. But I've bought basically a mini version of that, which I really like. This is the entrance to Glastonbury Abbey, isn't it, Jess? Yes. Dungeon where they used to keep people just in this little crevice. Well, it's boarded it off now a little bit, but I think that's what they <laughs> Do you know what it actually is? It's the archway of the stable yard from the mid 17th yeah, that's century. It is from 17th century. She loves doing this, Jess. The abbey dates back to around 6 or 700 AD, though the site could have been used as early as 63 AD. I'm going in. It's basically the abbey ruins we're going through. During the dissolution of the monasteries, Glastonbury Abbey was destroyed and taken by the Crown. Henry VIII caused the displacement of more than 15,000 monks and nuns. Many Catholics were killed, including Abbot Whiting, who was martyred on the tour. of a feast. Uh, can I get a loaf please? A loaf. Your finest bread. Look. Oh, it's a dead butterfly. It's a dead butterfly. Oh, poor little thing. God bless. So this is one of the biggest abbeys in England, or it was one of the biggest abbeys in England, and it's set on 36 acres of land. Can you imagine how big it was? This is all the ruins, but it would have been huge. Do your daily workout when you walk in from the kitchen to your bedroom. Yeah, exactly. In 1191, King Arthur and Queen Guinevere's remains were discovered. These were then moved to a tomb which survived right up until 1539, where it was sadly destroyed during the dissolution of the monasteries in England. Chaliswell. So Chaliswell has been a place of pilgrimage for 2,000 years. People from all walks of life come here for these waters. And it's thought that the Holy Grail might have even been here. swinging thing here. Oh, it's lovely. I can see the tour from here. Feeling in there is absolutely 
magical. It's so peaceful and spiritual in there. You can't film inside, but it's beautiful. There's candles and flowing water. You can go into the pool, kind of wade in there. Just do what you want, have some private time for yourself. But it's really, really nice. You can reflect a lot in there. And I really liked it. I feel so peaceful after being in there. It's beautiful. Look at all this, all this artwork. It's cool, isn't it? That is cool. You got Glastonbury Abbey up the top there. It's pretty nice. There's the tour. I love it. There's my Jess is in the progress. She's done hers very professionally. You can follow me on Instagram if you want. <laughs> Curly <Mike. laughs> We just got caught in a hail. So we're coming here for a beverage. It started hailing. Guys, look at this now, it's ridiculous. Look at the hail! Oh my god, wow. I think you can see that. We've got to go out in that, should be interesting. Eerie. Just come to our hotel bar for a beverage. For a bevy. For a bevy. We're going up to the top of this hotel. Very eerie, it's in some parts of it anyway. There's how we do. We've trashed it a little bit, but. It's a couple. That's her bed. Dangerous. Dangerous. I've got the kind of peasant's quarters over there. What I like to do is do this. <laughs> 